Hi, I'm Don Calhoun. And I'm Dwayne Coos, and we're co-authors of the book, How to Dance with the Elephant. Thanks for being with us today. We've got a great topic that I know you're gonna enjoy. And that includes... Why do people die? Oh boy. <laughs> That's go. a great topic, <laughs> oh, for the love of God. Ironically, I mean, then they, you, you <laughs> folks think we're crazy, but th th there is such a, a power, and we've witnessed this now. Come on, in our, in our, our year together researching this, the, the understanding of that crazy thing called death has been powerful. So before we begin, I gotta start with a Calhounism. Why do people die? Well, that's because they're no longer living. <laughs> ah, yes. Um, well, uh, I, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna break in my favorite story. But are they oh, no longer living? When does one really die? Yeah, does one does one really die? And of course, if you've watched our uh, Cosmic Legacy, you understand that, in fact, death is the beginning to something even greater of life, your legacy. But let us, why do people die? I'm going to tell a story about stars, okay? Because my belief is that we are all a part of, of course, star dust. So, in fact, as a star matures and gets to the point of dying, it's during that dying process that hydrogen and helium become heavier elements like carbon or phosphorus, etc. So, okay, Dwayne, what are you throwing all this? Yeah, right, Dwayne's been smoking again. <laughs> but here's, here's, here's the beauty of it. It's through the death of one thing that the creation of another begins. And even, even beyond that, is a greater complexity. One plus one equals three. Right. That's three so plus three equals eight. There's this multiplier effect in this creative process. And I believe that a major piece of the driving force is death. And, and, and so it's a, it's a synergistic thing of interaction of people and contexts over time define a greater purpose within all of us. So literally what we're talking here is a greater legacy that our death really is a, a birth. It is actually a new life. It is a new creation. It is a way that this individual tied in with this individual and that individual interacted. So your whole fi family dynamics, each of us will live on in some form a reality and have a chain ref uh, effect. Almost like if, you know, take Duane's thing of biology, that there is no way that these things don't interact with each other and cause a butterfly effect one upon the other, correct? Yes. And, and, and so literally what we ask you, and it may be a little bit of a, an out of the box thinking here, um, is that is our life, our, is your life defined by this earthly paradigm of a moment in time which you are breathing and eating and getting up in the morning and those and well the answer is yes but that's just a small part of the 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 big equation of everything and how it all fits together that heavenly experience both before during and after our our death our our our, our legacy only within just our relative history of just short uh is abraham lincoln's uh legacy still alive and well today. That's not that long ago in our history. Martin Luther King is his legacy alive and, and important today. Steve Jobs, Steve who just Jobs. passed away. Uh, George Washington, our forefathers, Ben Franklin, uh, those great minds and those great thinkers, did they help define who we are in our nation? Well, those are all important, famous people. But guess what? You are no less important than George Washington. You are no less important than Abraham Lincoln because literally your interaction of your life was absolutely going to interact with others. And we do not quite understand the complexity of it all. We just know that it all has purpose and meaning.
So let me leave you with a single simple quote that I hope you'll ponder. The cradle of life is death. Thank you for watching. Thank you. If you enjoyed today's information and would like to receive 20 free videos, 20 free videos that cover the key questions that people usually ask about dancing with the elephant, you can go to dancewiththeelephant.com. Dance